Hi, my name is Mel, Mel Di Giacomo. Photojournalist, sports photographer, landscape photographer, doesn't matter. As long as it attracts me, that's the hat I wear. And what I want out of a wedding is real life. I want some kind of truth, whether it's my truth or, or their truth. And don't ask me to describe what truth is, but that's what I want out of a wedding. So if you want to be a wedding photographer, go ahead, but break some rules. I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to see or what I'm going to find. But this is where your training as a journalist comes in. Uh, you're always ready. You know what your exposures are. You know what lenses you should be using. And uh, you know how close or how far you should be. If I have to be described as anything, I'm an itinerant. I like walking around and finding moments. And I basically do the same thing at a wedding. I just walk around and I find moments. And you have to choose the moments. And you have to anticipate some of those things. Now I think the difference between the people that do wedding photographs and, and what I do is I'm the only photographer on the wedding. I don't use an assistant. I don't have any lights outside of a pop flash on, uh, on my Canon 20D. And I try and get in the middle of everything with wide angle lenses. This is a 24-1-4, which I like a lot. And the one thing about the 24 millimeter is it demands that you get close. I mean, you can't stand back and then shoot with that. Yeah, well, if you want to stand back and then crop the hell out of everything, that's one thing, but that's not what I do. I like getting close. And I do that for two reasons. The one, I really like to be around people. The other thing is, is that you're right here with me, as if you've got your arm inside my arm and I'm taking you along and you're participating in this wedding just as I am because you're looking at that photograph that I produced and there's a very physical nature to it. The way you get close is by putting on a wide angle lens. You don't put on an 80 to 200 zoom and stand 15 feet away and get close like that because you pull it in because then everything is flat. Whereas with this, there's dimension to it. And think about that. I'm bringing you, the viewer, standing right next to me and saying, this is what you're going to see. And this is the dimension of this because of this wide angle lens. Ernst Haas said, the best lens you have are your feet. You want a wide angle? Back up. You want a telephoto? Move in. And that's what the wide angle does. You have to be close with that wide angle and it makes the pictures more physical and it commands the viewer to join it. Somebody's gonna be looking at my pictures and I want them to be engaged in these photographs. And one way to do that is with the wide angle lens. The other thing is people know you're there. I mean, it, how can I not be missed them three or four feet away? But they learn to ignore me, you know, when they're dancing and I'm in the middle of the dance floor. But yet at the same time, they're still aware of me being there and it doesn't distract from the photograph at all. I mean, they're not, sometimes you get some, some people that are doing silly poses or something. That works very nicely because it's spontaneous. It's not something I posed. I don't want to pose any of the photographs at the wedding. I, I just want to be a witness. A bride told me once, she said, my wedding was a blur. I never saw it. But you were my witness. You showed me my wedding. And I did. And I did up close. Not from a distance, but up close. I brought her into the pictures. 
So that's probably the best compliment I, I've ever gotten about, about how I shoot. Uh, the other thing I've gotten away from, thanks to today's technology, is uh, I don't use the flash that much, if ever. Depends upon the wedding site. If it's well lit, I won't flash it at all. The thing I like about the Canon 5D Mark III is that the ISO can go way up, go up to 25,000. And what that does, that means with this 2414 and 25,000 ASA, you can go into a closet and photograph moths, if that's your idea of a good time. I shoot in color, but I don't process it in color. I process it in black and white. And the reason I do it that way is because every once in a while, it doesn't happen very often, but maybe once every five or six, seven weddings, is that one moment that is absolutely glorious in color. So you don't change it, you leave it like that. Why should you change it when it looks beautiful? And that happens every once in a while, where you get a color photograph and you say, the heck with this, I'm gonna leave it in color. But I'm gonna go along with what Robert Frank, great photographer said, the colors of photography are black and white. And one reason why a lot of wedding photographers don't shoot in black and white is because it's more difficult. Color's easy. Color's its, its own reward. Look at this bright red. You know how pretty that is in the yellow and the blue. and The subject, if you're gonna do it like, remember in English grammar, you had the subject, the verb, and the direct object, and the adjectives and adverbs, and the modifying this. That's the same thing in, in photography. The subject, that's the subject, is the color. The red is the subject. That's the first thing people are gonna notice, is the color. I'm secondary. And in black and white, I eliminate the color. Then I become primary. And that's what it's all about. It's about the individual, not the color. The other thing is, don't be afraid to try new things. You know, don't get stuck in the same old rut and saying, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm used to shooting at 400 and I don't want to shoot in anything else. Nonsense. Go to 800, go to 1200, go to 1600. Go wherever it works. Your job is to deliver pictures. First of all, your job, your responsibility is to yourself and then to the client. I always put myself before the client because I want the best and only the best for myself. And that's why the client hires me, is because they like what I do. And again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take chances and I'm gonna shoot from angles that most people don't shoot from. And you can do that with this, this camera. I mean, if you wanna get real low and shoot up, you get that kind of heroic posture then go ahead and do it. Break a few rules. You know, there, there are no formulas in life, so why should there be a formula at a wedding? There's nothing like being a photographer. There's all kinds of pain, all kinds of suffering, and all kinds of wonderful joy. So, take the good with the bad. And remember what, uh, who was it, Samuel Beckett, that ever try, ever fail, Try again, fail better. So keep doing it. You're gonna fail, there's no question about it, but failures are the portals to success. You learn from them. Don't get discouraged by them, we all make mistakes. So learn from your mistakes and keep making them and you'll get better and better and better and better. So you'll make fewer and fewer and fewer mistakes. I gotta answer that phone, excuse me. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, BH has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help. <laughs>